on the Statue of Liberty. The New Colossus is a sonnet by American poet Emma Lazarus, written in 1883. In 1903, the poem was engraved on a bronze plaque and mounted inside the lower level of the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty. John T. Cunningham wrote that the Statue of Liberty was not conceived and sculpted as a symbol of immigration, but it quickly became so as immigrant ships pass under the statute. However, it was Lazarus' poem that permanently stamped on Miss Liberty the role of unofficial greeter of incoming immigrants. Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame with conquering limbs astride from land to land. Here at our sea wash, sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning and her name mother of exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome, her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor the Twin Cities frame, keep ancient lands, your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched mass, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore, send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me, I lift my lamp beside the golden door. From the Charter of the Forest of King Henry the Third, Franchise, says C. Liberty. Liberty, also known as Franchise. The exemption by royal decree from general provisions or regulations, whether judicial, commercial, or ecclesiastical, by which powers could be exercised and appointments made locally, e.g. within manners, by lords, burgesses, clerics, or corporations, or regionally, e.g. within honors, exemption might also be claimed as prescriptive, i.e. existing from time memorial. See also Palatine. Hmm. It doesn't mean freedom? Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore, send these the homeless tempest, tempest tossed to me, I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Beacon, sign, portent, lighthouse. The Statue of Liberty as a lighthouse? From Black's Law Dictionary, first edition, gubernator. In Roman law, the pilot or steersman of a ship. Matthew 27, Jesus delivered to Pilate. What? When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Gubernator. In Roman law, the pilot or steersman of a ship. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself, and brought again the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned, and that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, What is that to us? What is that to us? See thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple, and departed, and went and hanged himself. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, It is not lawful for to, for to put them into the treasury, because it is the price of blood. And they took counsel and brought with them the potter's field to bury stranger, strangers in. Wherefore, that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Okay, So they didn't put the money in the treasury. They bought a potter's field, or a pauper's cemetery, so that they could present to you that they're very charitable. Then this was then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him that, he, that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value, and gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord appointed me. And Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of Jews? And Jesus said unto him, Thou sayest. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou now not how many things they witness against thee? And he answered 
him to never a word, insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. He didn't know who he was. He didn't know that he was God. And he had just been delivered up by the church. Those same people who are pretending to be your charitable, goodly, goodly folks, godly folks. The same ones crucifying you to this day. Now at that feast, the governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner, whom they would. And they had then a notable prisoner called Barnabas. Barabbas. Therefore, when they were gathered, gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you, Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ? For he knew that, they, that for envy they had delivered him. They brought Jesus unto the governor Pilate out of envy, didn't they? They were so jealous that he knew what they didn't know. He knew how to be human. And a psychopath does not understand humanity. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twain will ye that I release unto you? They said, Barabbas, Pilate saith unto them, What shall I do with Jesus, which is called Christ? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. We don't want him to out us, do we? When we come to the coronation charter, King Henry I granted August 5th, 1100. Now, all of the females were taken with the coronation charter, all of their estates. And everything was given to the barons, earls, or other who hold it me. My tenants shall have died. His heir shall not buy back his land as he, as he used to in the time of my brother, but he shall relieve it by just and lawful relief. So they're offering you life again in here under them, which is actually death, because you're always going to be a servant under another government, governor, pilot. Now check this out. Um, number nine. Also, I pardon all murders committed before the day I was crowned king. And those which shall be committed in the future shall have satisfaction according to the laws of King Edward. Barabbas was let go, wasn't he? He was all forgiven. Because that's beneficial to politics. It's okay if your brother gets killed by another entity. Because we got a bank that will charge him for that. And we got a governor who's going to allow this to happen through federal emergency management. FEMA. Number eight. If any of my barons or tenants commit a crime, he shall bind himself to a payment at the king's mercy. As he has been doing in the time of my father or my brother. He shall make amends according to the extent of the crime, as he would have done before the time of my father and the time of my brother or my other ancestors. But if he be convicted of treachery or heinous crime, he shall make due satisfaction for it. He'll pay me for any crimes against you, my subjects. What a joke. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I'm innocent of the blood of, the, of this just person. See you to it. Now you call me just. You call me innocent, Father. You make sure that you clean my hands of all of this wrongdoing. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be upon us and on our children. Then release he Barabbas unto them, and when he had scourged, scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. I'm going to charge you now rent on each other's bodies. I own you. You're my property. You're just animals. You're vermin in the forest. And you're going to pay me for everything you do upon each other. Every single thing you're good, you do upon each other. 
me and my minions, my attorneys, are going to get our reward for everything that happens to you as you are crucified. And we're going to let all the murderers go because that's more economically efficient. we got to worry about judicial economy here. And so it came to pass that each state, each franchise, codified Federal Emergency Management Acts passed down by the governor or the shipster and sold them to you as if they were a, a treat, a charitable thing, saving you. Let's go look, shall we? Under Wisconsin uh, legal documents, emergency rules now in effect. I think we'll go to the Department of Children and Families and uh, we'll start there. State of Wisconsin Department of Children and Families Emergency Rule DCF 55. Subsidized guardianship. What? That's not fixing a road. States of emergency. This emergency rule was approved by the governor on August 28, 2012. 42 U.S.C. Remember, Title IV, Table Four means parental ability of the state or paternal powers of the state. 42 U.S.C. 671A28 provides that an agency may enter into kinship guardianship assistance agreements to provide kinship guardianship assistance payments on behalf of children to grandparents and other relatives who have assumed legal guardianship of children for whom they have cared as foster parents and for whom they have committed to care on a permanent basis. So now we're selling children to each other through legal process while Caesar cashes in or the governor cashes in or the board of governors or every attorney, Department of Children and Families. You are the states this refers to in the states of emergency. Findings of emergency. The Department of Children and Families finds that an emergency exists and that the attached rule is necessary for the immediate preservation, preservation of the public peace, health, safety, or welfare. A statement of facts constituting the emergency is guardians who entered into subsidized guardianship agreements with an agency when the statewide subsidized guardianship program was implemented on August, in August 2011 are now eligible for consideration of an amendment to increase the amount of the subsidized guardianship payments. The rule includes the process for determining eligibility for the amendment. With silent lips, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempted to me, tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door, and you just witnessed the crucifixion of Jesus Christ.